pushing drivers to change the way they merge. This is interesting, Paula. They say it's going to get more cars through lane closures and it's also safer, which is a good thing as well. It's called the Zipper Merge. Local 12's Christian Hauser shows us what this is exactly. Behind me on I-75 in Covington at the Pike Street entrance ramp is a prime example of where a zipper merge could help. The merge is being pushed across the United States and it works exactly like it sounds, just like a zipper. As you see a lane closed sign ahead of you, you should stay in your lane up until that merge point. Then drivers take turns moving into an open lane. Now it sounds great in theory, but when you have drivers that don't want to let others over, it can throw a wrench in the whole process. Indiana hopes it can get drivers to change that. Indiana Department of Transportation spokesperson Natalie Garrett says when drivers see a lane closed sign, many people immediately think to get over. Well, that's fine if there's no backup and you're doing highway speeds like this on I-275. But if you're in slow traffic, the zipper merge is the way to go. Reduces congestion, um, helps with um, differentiations in speed. You know, a lot of people, they slow down quickly, maybe abruptly to get over um, or cause cars in the other lane to slow down, you know, when they're trying to get over. It's not just Indiana where you should use the zipper merge. Let's look at an example close to downtown. If you've driven I-75 in either direction approaching the Brent Spence Bridge, you've dealt with a backup due to traffic merging. You've probably also seen drivers speed up to keep someone from merging over. Matt Bruning with the Ohio Department of Transportation says ODOT is already pushing for zipper merges. But not everyone knows about them. When I started driving, I would get angry at people who would fly by me in the uh, in the soon to be closed lane and, and dive in at the last moment. And I thought, man, you're doing it wrong. Why aren't you merging back where the, the first sign is? Only to find out that I was doing it wrong the entire time. Garrett says Indiana plans to start pushing the zipper merges in the coming construction seasons. The biggest question though, how do you get drivers to do it? There will be signage um, in place. Um, you know, for when drivers are supposed to use a zipper merge. And Bruning likens the zipper merge to roundabouts. Everyone at first glance says this is a, a stupid idea. It's never going to work. All these problems, they come up with all the negative things that are going to go on with uh, the installation of one of these things. And then after they actually use it for a while, they realize, hmm, ODOT was right. This actually does work better and it is safer. Now, for a zipper merge to be beneficial, we all have to work together and let each other in. If drivers actively try to keep people from merging at the end of the lane, which I see every day, that blows it for everyone. So we'll just have to see if they listen. In Covington, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. So not only is the zipper merge also more efficient, it's safer as well. That's because vehicles get a chance to sync up. There's no hard braking and therefore you're less likely to have fender bender crashes, which obviously slow down traffic even more. NDOT is already charting, starting to try and educate drivers on how to zipper merge. Governor